Ready? I'm here to talk about My Sister's Keeper, um, the new movie starring Abigail Breslin, Cameron Diaz, and Sofia Vasilieva, which if you guys thought you might have recognized her from something else, she was Eloise at the Plaza not too long ago on ABC. <laughs> um, Alec Baldwin's also in it as the lawyer. Now, I read My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Bacolt before I saw the movie, which I think was a big mistake on my part. I should have just not seen the movie at all or whatever, but I had to see it. So, let me start off by saying I am not a huge fan of Abigail Breslin. I personally don't think she's that good of an actress. I think she's good at playing little girl roles, and she's got Little Miss Sunshine, and whatever. She's good at that. I just don't really care for her as an actress. I like Dakota Fanning better. And, um, as soon as I found out they were making a movie for My Sister's Keeper, I was like, okay, cool, this is gonna be good. And then I heard the cast. Well, to my surprise, Cameron Diaz, I thought, did a pretty nice job at playing Sarah Fitzgerald. Um, spoiler alert, they changed the ending. In the book, I don't know if I should give it away. Well, I'll put a warning on this. Just don't read it unless you haven't seen it or you want to see it. But in the book, Anna, Abigail Breslin's character, is supposed to die. And so the lawyer's driving the car, and it's raining. You hear it in the book, it's like, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. And that's what connects all the people is the rain. And then all of a sudden they get into a car accident, and you're like, oh my gosh, is everything okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then Brian finds out, the dad, because he's a fireman, and... And Anna ends up dying. And so what happens is, because Anna died, um, she's allowed, or for some reason, they give Anna's kidney to Kate, because she died or whatever. And Kate lives on, and she becomes a dance teacher, and she talks about how one of us had to go, Anna or I. It's pretty much the same ending as the movie, just switched. Like, she says, Kate, blah, 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 Kate, 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 Kate. But it was supposed to be Anna. So... My friend and I both read My Sister's Keeper, and we're watching the movie, and it's pretty true to the book. Taylor is, like, my favorite character. He's so sweet. Um, Taylor is Kate's love interest, and he has cancer, too, and they both have different types of cancer, and they kind of start dating for a little bit, and then he asks her to prom, or, like, the hospital prom or whatever, and she says yes, and they share their first kiss, and, like, it's so cute, and then he has to die, and I, I'll admit, I just... My tears welled up in my eyes at that part, and I don't usually cry in movies. Like, this whole movie, I don't think I was upset, like, I didn't cry or anything, and then just with Taylor, oh. Just... But at the very end, we were just completely thrown. We're like, what is happening? What is this ending? Why? This is so different than the book. And we didn't like it at all. The movie, in my, it, the movie wasn't as good as the book, which is usually the case with Harry Potter. I don't know. I didn't really read Harry Potter. Sorry. I read the third book. <laughs> That's it. For all. My Sister's Keeper, total, total dramatic story. Do not go if you want to see a comedy, obviously. It's just going to be tearing at your heartstrings all the time. And, oh, this one was really rough, too. There was a lot of parts I was like, wow, this is... And everybody in the audience was sniffling nonstop, and they are like, crying a little or It's like a Grey's Anatomy episode or whatever. A lot of my friends watch Grey's Anatomy, and they cry after every episode. It's like, why watch this show if you're going to cry? So... I don't know. I didn't really like it that much. I wouldn't go see it in theaters. I would definitely rent it. Um, read the book. Don't even rent it. Read the book. 